for this tutorial you will need your selected yarn, a 4mm crochet hook, some scissors and a darning needle. To make this cute Christmas crochet booty we're actually going to start by doing in like an upside down T shape and then we're going to sew along the edge in order to make it into your little stocking. So it is a usable stocking and I've also add some, added some decorative pom-poms on the front and then the chain here so that you can make it into a hangable stocking. So to get started you want to make your slip knot. And we are going to start by chaining 36 plus 2 for turning, so 38 in total. So to chain, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through. If you want to pause the video here, chain your 36 and then come back to me when you're ready. I've now chained my 36 and I'm going to add um, two more. This will count as our first double crochet. So this is double crochet in the UK. In the US, this would um, be called single crochet. So this is going to count as our first stitch of the first row. So what we want to do now is count three loops from the hook. So we've got one, two, three. So there are first three chains and we are actually going to work in the fourth chain from the hook. So you insert your hook, yarn over, pull through, two loops on the hook, yarn over, pull through. And you want to work your way along the whole of this chain and you will end up with 36 double crochets, remember that single crochet in the US, along this foundation chain. Your first chain two will count as a double crochet. So again, pause the video here, work your way all the way to the end of the chain and I shall meet you back at the end. I'm now at the end of this row and you might notice as you're doing this, this actually spir spirals. Um, don't worry, that is absolutely normal and once you start adding more rows, it will straighten itself out. Um, so we've just done our foundation chain and then added our first row so you count all the way along and you should have 36 stitches when you get to the end you want to chain two turn your work and then we work into the first chain space which is just here so you want to pop your hook into that space yarn over pull through, yarn over, pull through two and again you want to work your way all the way across to the end of this row. I shall meet you back at the end of this row again so make sure you count as you go along. You want 36 stitches again and that chain two that you did at the beginning will count as one of your 36. So I'll meet you all the way at the end and I shall remind you what to do once you get to this stage. I'm now at the end of my second row and you might notice that when you get to this second row it might look like there's no space at the end to insert your hook to get your 36th stitch um, but what you would actually do is insert it into the top of the um, chain two which you did at the beginning of the last row so you literally just insert your hook into the top there yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through. You would chain again, one, two, turn your work and work your way in exactly the same way across the whole of the row, get into the end, chain two and work again. Here we have done two rows of our double crochet. You want to row end up with six rows of 36 double crochet so that's single crochet in the US so if you want to pause the video here and meet me back when you've done six rows of 36 stitches 
I'm now at the point where I've done my six rows of 36 and we're going to start decreasing the um, rows now. So to do this you want to chain two, turn your work and we're going to decrease the stitches now. So you want to insert your hook as you would do normally, yarn over, pull through. Now instead of doing a yarn over and pull through again, we're going to insert our hook into the next chain space, yarn over and pull through. So now you have three loops on the hook and then you're going to yarn over and pull through all of those three loops on the hook and that is called double crochet two together or single crochet two together and then you're simply going to work your way across this row. Now once you get to the end of this row instead of having 36 stitches you will have 34. So we'll have our chain two and those two that we did together there will actually class as one. So that's one, two, three, four, work your way all the way along and then once you get to your last three stitches, so this is our end one, so that will be our 34 and then these two will class as 33. Now you want to work your way all the way along until you count 32. So pause the video now and once you count it to 32, and you'll have a few um, stitches left here, play the video again and I'll show you what to do at this end if you're unsure. I've now worked this row up to the point where I have 32 stitches and it looks like I've got one, two, three spaces left to do my last three stitches. So what we're gonna do now is insert the hook into the next chain space, yarn over, pull through, insert into the next chain space, yarn over, pull through, so you've got three loops on the hook, yarn over and then pull through all three and that counts as our 33rd stitch and then we do our 34th stitch in the last space. So that decreases the row by two. We're then going to do exactly the same again, so we're going to decrease by two. So we chain two, one, two, turn the work, and then in this row we'll end up with 32 stitches. So we're going to insert the hook into the chain, next chain space, yarn over, pull through, insert your hook into the next chain space again, yarn over, pull through, so you've got three loops on the hook, yarn over, pull through all three and then continue with your double crochet along the whole row. Continue this till you get to the end, till you have counted 30 stitches and I shall meet you back at this point to show you what to do again. I'm now at the end of this row, so I have done 30 stitches. I'm going to decrease now, so I'm going to insert my hook, yarn over, pull through, two loops on the hook, insert into the next chain space, yarn over, pull through, two loops on the hook, yarn over, pull through all three, so that is my 31st stitch and then insert my hook into the top of the last row, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through, and that is my 32nd stitch. At this point, we actually need to um, tie off, so I'm going to yarn over, pull through, take my scissors, snip off, pull that out, Pull nice and tight and I'm going to um, actually start to make the top of the stocking now which is here and to do that we need to just start in a, a, a slightly different place. Now that we've just tied off here 
we are going to turn the work over because we're going to be working from this side back along this way. Now we do need to work out six stitches from the end. So these six stitches, sometimes it's easy to actually see the top where you can see these V's. They look like little V's. So this will be one, two, three, four, five, six. Um, and then you want to insert your hook into the seventh space just there. So we now know where we're working. You want to turn it back to the right way. So we want the end on the right hand side because we're going to be working back this way. So attach your yarn. The way I like to do this is just pull it through. Tie it off. Insert your hook into that same space again. Grab the yarn and pull it through. Ignore this bit here. This is just where I've tied two ends together. Um, if you do want to do that, it's absolutely fine. Just work it into the work. So you're going to yarn over and chain two. And then as you're working this row, hold this loose piece of yarn here and work it into your stitches and then um, you won't have to sew it in at the end. But we're going to do um, 20 double crochets, so that's double crochet in the UK, single crochet in the US, along this row. This chain two will count as your first. So go ahead and do 20 double crochets along this row. Pause the video and I'll meet you back when I've done my 20. Once you've done your 20, you'll just look like you've got a little ridge and you'll have six stitches from the previous row at the end here and six stitches from the previous row at the end here. You want to chain two, turn your work and then continue back doing 20 stitches all the way along that row. You're going to do exactly the same for 10 rows. So please continue to do this is your first row, another nine rows of double crochet, um, each consisting of 20 stitches. I shall meet you back here once you've done. I've now done my 10 rows, so I'm simply going to tie off now, so yarn over, pull through, snip off pull the thread through and pull it nice and tight and I'm going to attach the um, cream yarn now so that we can make the top of the booty. Insert your hook into the last chain space, grab the yarn, pull it through. This is how I like to change my colours just so I know it's nice and secure. I know some people don't like to tie off, they just like to change the colour, do it as you please. Insert your hook, yarn over, pull through, chain two and turn your work and you're going to continue across um, doing another four rows of 20 double crochet to make the top of your booty. So pause the video again and I shall meet you back once you've done those. I'm now at the end of those um, four rows of 20. I'm going to yarn over and pull through just to secure that last end a little bit. And now we're actually going to um, turn this into the actual booty itself. So we want to fold it right sides facing. So because we can see the stitches from the red to the cream quite a lot here you'll find on the other side it doesn't look as um, open like you can't see the red as much through so this is the inside and this is the outside so we're just going to fold it in half like this and then I'm just going to sew or crochet together 
this top section. So you insert the hook into the top of the chain of the last row, so just in here, and you're going to yarn over and pull through. And then you're just going to grab some of the yarn and pull through again. And then you just want to continue that all the way till we meet the red, just to make sure it's nice and secure. Once you're happy that you've done um, the top section, tie off that colour and then we can go back to our red, which is called lipstick. So I'm just going to continue this process all the way down the edges. And I wouldn't worry too much about getting exactly every single stitch. Um, you just want to make sure that you're working on the outer edge and not going too far within the pattern. And just doing your double crochet stitch all the way along. What you do have to be careful of is just stopping and making sure that you're not going too wonky with this. You want to make sure it's nice and level and that you're keeping it straight all the way along. So work your way all the way round, tie off and I shall meet you back there. I've now gone round and um, done a double crochet stitch, stitching all the sides together. I didn't worry too much about going into every single chain space on the bottom here. I sort of skipped a couple just because these aren't going to be used for actual booties. So um, it doesn't really matter. Or at least it doesn't really matter to me. You can do what, whichever you choose to do. You can sew in these ends now um, and then we'll be ready to turn this inside out. Or the right way round, should I say. So just pull it all through. And then you have your little booty. So now all that's left to do is add the um, decorative pieces. So the pom-poms and the hook. We are now going to make our hook. So you just want to press the top of your booty flat and then just insert your hook into the edge. It doesn't matter specifically which one you go in, just as long as if you had your hook like this, it, this was how you want it to fall. So I'm going to grab my yarn and pull through and tie off. I'm going to insert my hook into that same space that I've just um, pulled through my yarn through and I'm just going to chain about 20 stitches to begin with, so three, so I have 20 stitches, if I just bring that back down to the beginning, insert my hook into that original place where we started, yarn over, pull through, pull through that hook on the chain, yarn over, pull through, snip off, pull nice and tight and we have our hook. So all that's left to do there is sew in those edges just here. We're then ready to do our pom-poms. So you want to just insert your hook somewhere around the front here, grab your yarn, and pull it through. Tie off. I'm just going to grab this loose stitch here and just pull it inside just so it's out the way. Insert your hook into that same space that you've just been in and slip stitch. And you want to now chain 
six. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And what you're going to do is count three chains from the end. So one, two, three, and insert your hook into that third chain space. So you go into yarn over and insert your hook into that chain space there. It can be a little bit fiddly, um, so you do have to make sure that you're holding here. You're going to yarn over and pull through two loops on the hook. Yarn over again, insert, yarn over, pull through. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. So you end up with four loops on the hook. Yarn over, pull through all four, and then chain one. So you end up with a chain and then a puff stitch. You're going to chain three, one, two, three, and then we're going to yarn over and this time insert into the top of this puff stitch. So yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, and then yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull through, Yarn over, pull through two, so you've got four loops on the hook. Yarn over, pull through all four, chain again, and then we're going to sort of fold that over. So we're going to insert this hook into the base of this last puff stitch, and then yarn over and pull through both. So pull that nice, nice and tight and then you are just going to insert your hook anywhere around here, around the bottom of that stitch and then pull through again just to secure. Chain one, snip off the yarn, it doesn't have to be a, a long thread, pull through. And then I'm just going to insert my hook into this ball here, grab the yarn and pull it through and then snip off the end. And that makes our first pom-pom. And then I'm going to do exactly the same thing on the other side. I'm just going to make it a little bit longer. Instead of chaining six to begin with, I'm going to chain nine. So I'm going to get to the point where I've done my chain and then I'll show you again what to do. I've now chained nine. So I'm going to count back one, two, three. I'm going to yarn over, insert my hook into that third chain from the hook. Yarn over, pull through. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through all four, and then chain one. Chain three, one, two, three. Yarn over insert into the top of the last puff stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, four loops on the hook, yarn over, pull through all four, chain ones to secure, insert your hook into that original space from the first puff stitch, yarn over, pull through and then just pull that nice and tight. Then I'm going to just insert my hook into anywhere around that ball 
and this is literally just to secure it together a little bit more. Slip stitch, yarn over, pull through, leave a small thread, pull out, insert your hook into the ball and then pull your thread through, snipper and that is your booty. Of course you can do this in different colours, you could just um, swap out the yarn every um, couple of rows, you could do it striped if you wanted to. If you wanted to have this top section where it could fold over, you would just add another four rows and that would mean that you could fold the top over like that if you wanted to. I really hope you've enjoyed this project. Please make sure you tag me on Twitter and Instagram or Facebook if you've recreated this project. I would love to see your designs and if you've customised it in any way. Thank you for watching. Bye.